Here's the Moto G5 Plus. Hello. Hi. So who are you? Uh, I'm Richard. I'm with Mot oh, Motorola, and here I'm just presenting the new Moto G5 Plus. So the Moto G family has always been about delivering premium features without the premium price. So the one big change that we have with this device this year is that we've incorporated a new metal design uh, on it, which gives it a really slick and premium feel. Nice. It's got the your um, your circular area there for the camera, yep. which is a uh, yep. new style. Yeah, and you'll see. So yeah, right. Last year you would have saw like uh, what we call the pill, but uh, this year this will this is in line with the Moto Z series. Uh, so it has this is the circular uh, camera area. Now speaking of the camera, what makes this what makes this device really great is is the is the uh, camera yeah. itself. So it's a 12 megapixel, a dual autofocus pixel camera. Let's check one of those. Let's go in. Uh, let's go into camera mode for that one. Okay. Do you want me to start all over or what? No, we can continue. So, dual pixel. Yep, uh, 12 megapixel dual autofocus pixel camera, which it's a flagship level sensor. Uh, what the dual autofocus pixel does is it allows you to focus incredibly fast, faster than uh, faster than uh, the blink of an eye. In addition, if you compare this with last year's Moto G Plus, we use about 10 times more pixels uh, to focus compared to uh, last year's version. That means we can focus up to 60% faster than we did last year. So this is a, this is positioned as a affordable still, smartphone, right? Yep, yeah, still affordable. As pre, what we like to say is you know, premium for all is, is a good way to put it. So how much is it placed at, the price? Uh, US dollars? Yeah. Uh, so this will be available in the US about the same price as it is this year. I don't think we've released the pricing quite yet. But if you look at this year's model, it's about 249. This will be in that range. So uh, you're talking about very premium experience for a good price. Yep. And we haven't even talked about the low light performance yet. So this thing has a really big aperture, f1.7, and bigger pixels, which lets in a lot of light for this for this device. So what is the display we're looking at? It looks really nice. So this is a 5.2 uh, inch full HD display uh, with very nice viewing angles, mm -hmm. very bright. Mm -hmm. IPS. Yeah, IPS. And um, very good touch. Is it a, what do you call it, 2.5? Uh, 2.5, 2. 2. Uh, in cell, on cell. Sorry, what was the question? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, is it LCD? It's a IPS, but, uh, IPS LCD. IPS LCD. And uh, you have a 625 octa core. Yep. So the that's process, yeah, that's right, uh, uh, 625, uh, Snapdragon 625, 2 gigahertz octa core processor. And then of course we have uh, a fingerprint reader. We brought that back from last year. It looks a different design than it was. Last year was a square. Now it's uh, an oval shape to match the rest of the design. And there's also a practical reason, which I'll get into that in a minute. Um, do you want to talk about the battery life? It's a 3,000 yeah. 3, milliamp uh, all day battery. And what it, we also include the Turbo Power 15 charger in, in the box. So that, that would give you up to six hours of power in about 15 minutes. Nice. So one other thing, cool thing that I want to show you on this device is actually this thing called One Button Navigation. Actually, let me switch devices to show you that. Yeah. It'll work better. Still same one, but good thing is it'll look like the same same device while I do, yeah. when I do this. So I'll turn it off and I'll turn it on for you. That way you'll see it better. Okay. So one unique feature that comes with our Moto experiences, and our Moto experiences mean that they're shortcuts for some of the most uh, used features on your daily basis, is you can use a fingerprint reader to navigate your phone and you won't need this, these buttons, these three buttons anymore. So to do that, I click on the Moto button. I've already set up my fingerprint. I click on Actions, One Button Navigation, and I turn on the feature here. So what that will do is all those buttons, the three buttons, are now gone, which gives you more real estate on the screen. And how do you do the gestures for those three? Sure. So what you can do is, if you want to do the to see it over the recent uh, things that you were looking at, all you have to do is swipe right. And so you can see all the things that I've opened right now. I'm going to tap this because now is now this is going to be your home button. So I go home, and then if I want to go back, I swipe left. So let's just say I was on the browser here, and I want to see what the previous page was. I just swipe left, and I can nice. see. And obviously, you can use this to obviously you can use this to lock and unlock and unlock the screen, and even it even engages Google now on tap. 
So nice. that's so that's uh, the Moji Plus in a nutshell. And uh, it has a uh, very good connectivity, right? Uh, is this a 4G Plus? This is a fast uh, LTE. Yeah, 4G, 4G LTE. Yeah. So fast and uh, some nice colors. This is premium feel, right? Yes. Yeah, so basically, this feel cheap at all. Yeah. So this is uh, the two comes in two colors: uh, fine gold and lunar gray. All right. I think it looks very great, and Perfect. it's great to uh, that uh, Moto is very nice to offer very uh, cool price for good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been a, a strategy for a couple, three, four years now already. Yeah, so this is our fifth generation of Moto G, and really when we first started, we kind of we really changed kind of the industry, and when we offered kind of the premium specs without the premium price. Fifth generation is that the fifth year? Yeah, Every year has been one, or has been a little bit faster than that, maybe. Well. Uh, it might be a little bit faster because the, the difference between we launched the, the fourth generation last May and we're launching this one now um, uh, at the end of February. And G series has been very popular all these years, right? It's been very popular. Huge. Yeah, it's been it's our pretty much our best seller. Best seller, and this so this is going to be huge. That that run right there might be the most uh, popular Moto phone in 2017, possibly. But the Moto Z is doing also great. It, it is. These don't do. Uh, Moto Mods. It does not. It's a different series. Yeah, the Moto Z series is, is, is known for, for Moto Mods. So uh, it's a completely different thing. You snap on snap on device, it changes the experience. So you could have a high powered camera, a projector, uh, extra battery. That's awesome. All, lots that's of different things. Different. And the, but the affordable uh, Moto Z is the Moto Z Play. But here we're talking about that kind of quality. Good functionality. 